In today's lesson we're looking at constant of proportionality. So when we have a direct relationship, as we can see in the graph here, we can see that y and x are uh, in direct proportion to each other. Now we know that because we can see that they go through zero and the relationship is linear. So when we have a linear relationship, it means that our gradient, so remember we do gradient by this rise over run, uh, that is the same throughout the entire graph. Okay, so um, we we have a special equation to represent this, and we say that the equation is y is equal to kx. So y and x obviously being the variables, and k, k is the constant. And that, that constant is actually a gradient in this situation, okay? Um, so let's, rather than dwell on that too much, what we're going to do is just drive, dive straight into some examples in terms of being able to constr uh, construct this and come up with rules that might help us. So if we look at the first example, we're told here that x and y are in proportion, y is equal to 12 and x is equal to 3, and we're asked to find the constant of proportionality, so remember that's k, and state the rule linking x and y. So we need to come up with some equation to represent this relationship. So what we can do is if we know that um, we start with the equation of y equals kx, we know that y is equal to 12 so we can put that in. So then we've got k and x is equal to 3. So we can then obviously divide by 3 on both sides to cancel out. And we know that k is equal to 4. So we've done the first part of this equation in finding the constant of proportionality. Now we're asked to state the rule. So all we now need to do is substitute our k value back in to that y equals k plus x. So the rule is actually y equals 4x. Now that we've got that, we could actually find any other, we can use that um, rule to find other points on the graph. Now that will be um, make a little bit more sense when we do our second example. So in this example we're told that we have the weight of one dollar coin in bags varies directly directly. We can say that it's proportional to the 20 coins of 180 grams. So our variables are W is directly proportional to N. What we're going to do here to make this one a little bit easier is just draw up a table with W and N. So when weight, when we have 20 coins of N, the weight is 180. So knowing that, we can we need to find the relationship, to, so develop an equation to represent W and N. So if we follow similar steps to what we did last time, we've got instead of Y equals KX, we can write W equals KN. We know that W is 180 and our N value is 20. So again we divide by 20 to get our K value equal to 9. So if we have a relationship, a rule, we're going to have W equals 9N. So now when we're asked to find 57, how much 57 coins weigh, we can use our, um, our rule we've created, W equals 9N, where N is 57 coins, so N equals 57. So W equals 9 times by 57. All I've done there is substitute this 57 value in for N. So W equals, and we can pop that into our calculator, 9 times 57, 513. Now we need to be careful here in terms of what is 513. Well, we're asked to find the weight and the unit of measure is grams. So 513 grams. The next uh, question asks us how many coins weigh 252 grams. So again we can use our formula that we've created, W equals 9N. Now this time our W equals 252 
9 by n. So n is going to be the number of coins we found. So we're going to divide by 9. So they cancel out, which means we're left with an n value. And then we have 252 divided by 9 equals 28. Which means we have how many coins weigh 252 grams? Well, that's 28 coins.